How good does that look? Homemade lamb kebabs. I'm Shui, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these lamb kebabs. Now, you may call them souvlakis or suvas. No matter what you call them, they're tasty. So just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. Today, I'll be using this one kilogram deboned leg of lamb that I picked up from Gippsland Premium Meats. I'd like to say there's more to the prep, but there isn't. Make sure you get the leg of lamb out of the fridge at least an hour before you want to cook it, just to get the chill out of it. Next up, we need to make some seasoning for the lamb. So into a bowl, we're going to add some kosher salt, some black pepper, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some oregano. And we all need a little bit of extra time. And just mix it up a little bit. Now all we need to do is drizzle some olive oil over the lamb and just rub it all over. Flip it and do the same to this side. Then using half a lemon, squeeze on some lemon juice. Both sides, plenty of it. We don't want the pip though. Pips are bad, they don't taste good. And then we're just gonna sprinkle our seasoning over the lamb, making sure to get the sides. If we can, there we go. Making sure to get the sides and finish on the top as well. Blah. Double blah. These flavors work so well with lamb, but by all means, change them up and make this recipe your own. That's it, the leg of lamb is now ready for some heat. Barbecue heat, that is. I'd normally tie up a deboned leg of lamb now, but it was already tied up for me, so job done. You know, it's not too early to like this video. Today, I'm gonna to be using a 57 centimeter Weber kettle, and I'm gonna be pairing it up with some charcoal baskets, because I wanna be roasting at temps of 240 degrees Celsius today. How I'll do that is I'll fill a chimney starter up with unlit briquettes. I'll light them up when they're fully ashed over. I'll grab my charcoal basket, place them in the center of the charcoal grill, and I'll dump that lit fuel into it. Then using a pair of tongs, I'll push the charcoal baskets to either end of the charcoal grate, and we'll add a foil pan to collect any of the drippings. I'll put the grill on, and we'll put the lid on, eventually. Get rid of the little spider. And we'll put the lid on. And we'll put the lid on. And we'll put the lid on, making sure all the vents are wide open, and I'm gonna give that 10 minutes to warm up. How easy was that? <laughs> this would be a great time to subscribe to my channel, and while you're there, hit that bell button. That bell button's gonna allow you to be notified every time I throw more stuff at my Weber. The Weber's warmed up, so we can just grab our leg of lamb and pop it right in the middle of that cooking grate, and pop the lid back on. Set a timer for an hour and 10 minutes. That's it, no thermometers today. We are running this cook old school. Today I'm cooking at temps of 240 degrees Celsius. And all up, this cook's only gonna take an hour and 10 minutes. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a three beer cook. But we all know a kebab tastes better at 2 a.m. after 20 beers, so by all means, add a few extras in. So we're 35 minutes into the cook, and now I wanna spin that lid 180 degrees. And while I'm doing that, I'm actually gonna squeeze that leg of lamb with some more lemon juice. Oh, 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 that is smelling incredible. Try and be quick when doing this, you don't wanna to lose too much heat. Next up, all we need to do is prep the rest of the ingredients to make up our kebabs. We're gonna need some pita bread. Any type you like is fine. We wanna slice up some red onion and dice up some tomato and then just thinly slice up some lettuce. Last thing to do is make up some garlic sauce. Into a bowl, we wanna have some plain yogurt. I'm using Greek, and we wanna add some lemon juice and some chopped garlic and a good pinch of salt and pepper. Stir that around, making sure you splash most of that lemon juice out of the bowl. I know there's vegetables in this recipe. Relax, the lamb is the hero, the delicious hero. That's it, the lamb is ready, so all we need to do is get it off the grill, and that smells absolutely incredible. And those of you who have watched my videos for a while, you know I like to let lamb rest longer. So we're gonna let this rest for 30 minutes under some foil. Now I know some of you out there wanna know the internal temp of this lamb. 
Kebab meat does not want to be pink on the inside, so you want to push it a little further. I took this one to 75 degrees Celsius internally. The lamb is well rested now. We just need to dice it up into small pieces. Now we can just start adding our ingredients to that pita bread. First up, I'm gonna put the garlic sauce down, and then the hero of this whole meal, which is that lamb. Add some tomato, some crunchy iceberg lettuce, and for a nice tangy crunch, we're gonna top it off with some onion. And then all we gotta do is roll it up or wrap them in foil for that authentic metallic bite you get at 2 a.m. when eating a kebab. There's no denying it today, these are that good, they should be illegal. Mmm. As always, cheers for watching.